YouTube, it is I, Sakama, coming at you with another quick battle from Total Brawlhammer here. I, myself, am heading the High Elves against Gypsy number one. The first Gypsy as Argwalon and the Wood Elves, I guess. I mean, I guess they're just Argwalon, but they're really Wood Elves, we all know that. So uh, what, what, am I, what am I trying to accomplish here? Um, I want to see uh, how well uh, Silverhelm's doing this matchup. Uh, that was my that was my goal. So what did I bring? I brought a bunch of spears, about five of them, all chevron as high as I could with the remaining, you know, so about seven chevrons it looks like. So with that, they have 60 melee defense. You know, the idea here is that whatever they charge me with, whatever infantry they have, these guys will hold forever. Uh, hopefully. Obviously, um, we're going to be in trouble with uh, war dancers, but I had the silver helm to deal with them and also had archers. So I was like, okay, so... Uh, other spearmen, you know, eternal guard. They have such light, low melee attack, 26. They'll never hit these guys, so they'll hold forever. They have silver shields to, you know, fend off way watchers, which is really the meta right now, which you're gonna be afraid of when fighting. Uh, what else? So it's like, mm, I think these guys can work. And then if they have to fight trees, they get that bonus versus large, and they have that crazy melee defense, so they won't die. So they're really like, you know, all around good units, I think, in this matchup. And then of course, uh, Lothran Seeker with shields, also spears, also silver shields, also can fire back. So my whole front line is silver, sh silver, silver shielded. Nothing super expensive, 800, 750, you know, nothing crazy, crazy expensive, nothing elite. And um, yeah, I figured it would be a good little holding force against Wood Elves. And then in the woods here, I have two contingents of Silver Helms. Uh, so each with two units. Uh, so one in the left flank, one in the right flank, hidden in there. Um, and that's what I brought. My opponent, meanwhile, brought a couple of Hagbane Tips, Glade Riders. He's got this Way Watchers, who I didn't know existed at the time. Uh, and then Glade Star, uh, Starfire Shafts. And they kind of brought a similar build, a lot of spears. They brought the uh, Glade Lord, no magic user surprisingly, and then um, I seem to fight a lot of people who don't bring magic, and then a couple of war dancers in the back here. So uh, with Azrae Spear, so let's see how this works out. So right away he's going to come and try and skirmish me. Well, actually just speed it up a bit because he does try and skirmish me a bit. I move Teclas up, try and get him in uh, bow range. Ooh, what did I bring on Teclas? That's a good point. I brought Teclas. Ooh, I shouldn't pause it. Let's just uh, yeah, just a little skirmishing, no big deal. So I brought Teclas with a ton of spells. And I know you can't use that much magic with him. Well, anyone, really. Uh, so I brought him with five of his spells. The only one I didn't bring was um, Chain Lightning. Um, the reason being is that I figured, okay, so I want the fire just in case there's trees. You know, Flaming Sword of Ruin obviously is not the best spell, but if there's trees, it can be devastating. So I want the fire. I wanted the net to deal with uh, Glade Riders. I wanted an Infeebling Foe in case I had to fight like a Dirth or something like that. I wanted the Flock of Doom in case there was a ton of archers and a ton of infantry, and I wanted Regrowth. Um, just to heal maybe one of my my, uh, my horse units. I probably could have dropped regrowth because my silver helms aren't too, too important, but I wanted it just in case and also help out with some fighting if they had to fight Making some... Uh, I could give them heals and that resistance if they had to fight a... Uh, what are they called? Wild Rider. Because I think Wild Riders have far better stats. My opponent, meanwhile, he does have something hidden back here. Over here, way over here in the corner. Wisely. A pretty, a pretty clever little move over here. He's got these Wild Riders with shields. And just for fun, let's see what the... Um, so they have 43, 30... 45, 67, opposed to 36, 42, 32, 60, and they have far more armor than these guys. Yeah, I think Wild Riders, they have silver shields, wow, crazy. I think Wild Riders take that. Obviously, they have Frenzy, and these guys have um, whatever it's called, Martial Prowess, so both those stats will go way down when the fighting does begin, but uh, they don't have the greatest melee defense, so I don't know. I have to test that out, see who does better. Uh, they have more health than them, interesting. Okay, but he does have these guys hidden in the back. I had no idea they existed, so this was a lot of like little little funky maneuvering over here. So I started to advance my line. I realized my line could take their line pretty pretty fa pretty easily. Um, my opponent here gets he does uh, yeah. discover these guys, and he should have he should have recharged them. I had no idea this was happening. Um, if he had recharged, that would have been devastating, because uh, I had no idea they were over there. So that was a little misplay on my opponent's part. Um, and he knew they were there, so this isn't that's interesting. Maybe he didn't I don't know. Maybe he thought they would lose. Maybe he thought they were dragon princess. I have no idea. I was over here though as he was doing that. I caught uh, one of his later I tried to get both of them. Unfortunately, the 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 um, net didn't only, only cut the one, even though it was overcasted. Uh, probably should have put it in the middle, but I didn't want it to lose tracking. So we obviously decimate these guys in, you know, one or two volleys, nothing. Uh, now we know about these guys, and he's left them unprotected from these Silver Helms. Again, interesting move. I think my opponent should have... I didn't know he discovered them. He should have rear charged. Uh, that would have been devastating. He probably would have gotten at least one unit gone, and he could have just pulled out before I had even had a chance to respond. Um, but no, instead he decides to bring them over here and try and hit my Lothric Guard in the back. Over here, I'm engaging these spears with those spears, and then I'm going to pull out my uh, Silver Helms, try and catch those Way Watchers. He's going to bring these guys in the back. I do see them. I send Teclas to capture them. Obviously, Teclas is getting shot up by everything. Um, so I try and get them to, to intercept the charge, and then I bring all these spears back. Uh, he does get... I think I moved them to face them, so they were braced, so they didn't take too much damage on the charge. But now they are sandwiched, which is not the best. 
However, um, he's in the killing field. I put, I reposition both these shooters to just, you know, lay into them, and those shields are doing nothing because they're being shot in the flank. So those guys are going down. And meanwhile, I bring this other contingent of, um, of uh, uh, Silverhelms out. Over here, Silverhelms are doing okay damage against these uh, Weight Watchers. A little, bit, a little bit slower than I would like, but they're doing very, very well. Uh, they've got one to rout. Uh, the other one's doing good damage. Obviously, he's bringing in his Azurite Spear, so I do have to pull them out. Um, this unit is pretty much dead. Teclis is taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. I'm going to start charging these guys into the front line. Uh, they do, you know, not the greatest damage, but uh, a little bit. Uh, I don't want to move them around yet because there are those um, Ward Eyes Azurite Spears, and I was hoping to push through. Uh, but yeah, the second charge does a lot more damage, so I am sort of, you know, pushing it more in my favor in the front line, uh, on top of the fact that I already have Silver Chevron units. Um, they've lost their only uh, cabinet, which is huge. I am starting to heal them. I, put, I cast Regrowth on Tekla, so it did come in handy. Um, over here, the, the, the Starfire Shafts are firing into my Lothram Sea Garden. They're not getting the benefit of the shield, but it's not doing too much damage. Uh, they're not in the greatest uh, range. I am trying to charge out my Silver Helms, but they get caught up in this, you know, mass of units, and then, you know, they run right into these War Dancers, and then they're going to drag back in, and that's going to do a ton of damage to them, because War Dancers are devastating. But they're actually doing actually decent damage back, and um, the War Dancers are surrounded uh, by a lot of my units, and they're getting shot at by Archers. So I don't, you know, I lose a ton of damage, but they lose a ton of damage, and they're about the same cost, and at this point, I think um, the battle's sort of gone a lot in my favor. Over here, I've been able to run down a lot of their Archers, he is really, really heavily focusing down Teclis, which I think was the mistake. He should have gone after my knights more. Um, I think maybe he missed, he underestimated uh, the devastation that I could be wrought with some silver helms, with some shiny helmets, okay? You put on the right shiny helmet, you are devastating. Look at these guys, just running people down left and right. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking like it's going to be, uh, it's going to go okay for the Wood Elves here. Sorry, High Elves rather, not okay for the Wood Elves. Over here I get mucked up in some Eternal Guard, not a good fight for me. He is really still trying to kill Teclis, and he's doing a good job of it, but it's not going to be enough. Um, over here we charge into these War Dancers with Azurite Spear. We should do, do dam decent damage on the charge, and we're going to pull right out, because you don't want to stay in that fight for too long. And I'm going to hit these Way Watchers. Over here I have another Silver Helm coming, and I'm going to try and get these Spears to fight the Azurite, the, um, Azurite Spear. Uh, and you can see my front line is pretty much, you know, undamaged. Uh, across the line, my spears have held out and taken almost no damage, and they're out of spears. We have Lothram Seagard, still very healthy. He has these sneaky guys in the woods trying to kill Teclis. Really, the whole game is just really going after Teclis. But, um, he comes in a little too close, and I'm gonna get him with a net. Uh, before he can run away, right there, there goes the net. And it should be, the range for a net should be extended. It is far too low now. Uh, I understand they wanted to make it, uh, they wanted to nerf it, because it was, a, you know, a, an amazing spell in game one. Um, and that's fair, but I think uh, it should be a little, maybe extra 50 meters at least. It's just so, it's so prohibitive right now. It's so difficult to use the net, um, the net well. Uh, I agree with some of the changes they made. It just needs to be more, more. Uh, the range needs to be extended. Really, that's that's the the, the one gripe I have with it. Then it would be in a much better place. Over here though, um, he's losing. I think, and it was really laggy game. So my opponent side at this point, you know, there's no chance he's gonna win. So we're gonna see a close victory for the high elves. So what I really wanted to see. If this build could work against uh, Wood Elves, and it did, uh, at least against this uh, this variation of, uh, of, of Wood Elf uh, build. Um, the idea, of course, is, is, is basically that there's shields all across the board. Everyone has a shield, uh, including my Silver Helms. Obviously, those are bronze shields. But these are all silver shields. So Way Watchers, which are you know going to devastate every other unit, aren't going to do that great. Meanwhile, my, my infantry line is going to hold forever because of their crazy stats. We'll go look at those stats, actually. Um, battles, uh, custom... So let's see here. Let's go look at those stats. What you get with a, with this guy all chevroned up. So you put him up to chevron, whatever, and he's at he's gonna have like 60 melee defense with martial prowess uh, going. So so long as their hit points are pretty high, uh, we're talking 63 melee defense, which is insane. I mean, not a lot of units can get through that. Uh, 740 isn't that crazy expensive, and compared to white lions, I mean. I don't know, I think it's just a better pick overall. White Lines, you get more melee attacks, sure, but you lose all that melee defense. You get armor piercing, which you're not going to need against elves, and nine more uh, weapon strength, great. A charge bonus, fine. Less health, more armor, um, but they don't have, then they have, you know, what's their missile resistance? 30? But these guys have 55 missile resistance, and a charge defense versus large, and a bonus versus large. I just think, I mean, the stats don't look that great uh, when you look at it, uh, you know, one to one, but I think the 51 melee defense is really the big winner for these guys, and the fact that they have those silver shields. So they're just not going to die as quickly. And they have far more models, 90 models versus 75. So I don't know. I just think these guys are, are a better pick because White Lions, they just, they won't even beat War Dancers, or at least they won't beat them effectively. Uh, I mean, what are you getting with them? They'll get destroyed by Wild Riders. They'll get destroyed by Archers. I just don't think they are that great. I mean, John and I both agree that they're pretty terrible. I don't see if you shout on them up. I've never even looked. 
1100, you get... No, no, it's still garbage. Yeah, they're just not the best unit in the world. Um, they're pretty bad. But, yeah, you shove on these guys up. But what happens if you shove on these guys up? I'm all about the chevrons these days, guys. For a thousand, what do you get? 53, 24, yeah, that's definitely not worth it. But yeah, so I think shepherding those guys up, bringing some Lothran Sea Guard, because you have all those shields, all those archers. So Wild Rider's going to have, you know, trouble finding a home. Um, you have the net with Teclas, so if they do get in there, you can hit them. And then you have this giant force of Silver Helms. Just, just run a, run amok and be the real killing power of your army, you know, just do cycle charging. And uh, between them and the archers, you can really do some damage against the Wood Elves. So I'll have to try it out a few more times, but uh, first, uh, first uh, experiment was a success. And I think this is the first video I ever went out with, like, making a single dick joke or poop joke or any joke, really. So it's very uh, straightforward to the point. So um, I don't know if you guys prefer it or if it's uh, put you to sleep. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll come back with better uh, <laughs> dick and poop material for the next video. All right, guys. Uh, and that'll be it for me. So I'll see you around the bend.